This is your News 4 update, powered by the Bomarito Automotive Group. Good morning, everyone. I'm Claire Kellen. Here's some of the stories making headlines. We could get some clarity on St. Louis County's mask mandate later today. A state judge will hear a request from Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt asking for a temporary restraining order to stop it. But that actually may not matter as the St. Louis County Council is looking at passing an ordinance requiring masks at its meeting tonight. This follows the heated meeting last week where someone did test positive for COVID. The county health director admits to losing his temper that night as well. Last night, Monday evening, the council listened to testimony about what happened at the meeting but did not vote to change safety protocols. Richmond Heights police now say a shooting that happened near the boulevard started as a robbery. Police released these photos of the suspect. They say he tried to rob the victim about 515 Sunday evening and happened across the street from the Galleria. The suspect last seen running with a rifle into the parking garage of the Boulevard Shopping Center. Another great, beautiful, wonderful August day on Tap Kent. It is. We're off to a great start this morning and it'll be a nice day throughout the afternoon with that temperature remaining well below normal. Our forecast high of 81 compares favorably to the normal high of 90 degrees. Partly cloudy skies today, warm and dry northeast winds at four to eight miles per hour. And if you're headed down to the cards game this evening, Ooh, it's going to be nice. Temperatures in the 70s. Great night to sit at the ballpark and hopefully see our Cardinals beat the Braves. Partly cloudy, dry, and mild this evening. So, another green ozone day today for air quality. That's good. A high 81. Tomorrow, 83, 86 on Thursday. Close to normal on Friday with a low rain chance. But then we're above normal. These heat index readings are going to be approaching 100 degrees by the end of the weekend with a couple of spot showers and storms. It looks like it stays hot into next week.